Hi everyone, this is David from Rarify, and today we wanted to show you this custom ordered Mira Nakashima Cornblood style cabinet that was produced uh, circa 2015. This is a gorgeous example, it's constructed from black walnut. It uses what is uh, iconic for the Cornblood cases, which is a burl pole. Um, this example is unique in that whereas most examples have two doors that swing out, one of which has the burl pole affixed to it, this one was instead custom ordered with a single drawer and two shelves per cabinet. There's another um, cabinet that matches this nearby me here. The other thing that's special about the Cornblood cases is that it has this very elegant orthogonal architectural construction, which is defined by the dovetail joinery here. Uh, you can see how prominent the dovetail joints are, and uh, this example has a glued up construction, which means that it has multiple boards used for each of the sides of the casework. Um, this example has one, two, three, four boards that are used here on the, the top sides and underside, where sapwood or the kind of lighter colored uh, part of the tree, which is actually the furthest um, from the core of the log and the, the closest to what you see on the outside of the log, um, that sapwood is shown and used as an accent in this piece. Uh, another thing to note is that on the back side, still very uh, highly accentuated wood is used here. And so instead what you see is crotch grain wood, which comes from where um, the uh, tree would, would kind of split off and that's where you see a, a change in the form. On the underside, we have something that's typical for, the, um, for these cornflake cases, which uh, nowadays, which is a more sculptural base. In earlier Mira and George Nakashima pieces, um, I'm sorry, early George Nakashima pieces, there were often uh, much more kind of planar and simple forms used for the base, whereas as the 1970s and 80s progressed and as Mira transitioned into um, leading the Nakashima studio, uh, the more sculptural base has been used for that. Um, there are a couple of different variations of the Cornblatt cabinet, uh, as well as how detailing is done on the fronts, on the back, how those, um, how the wood meets uh, other sides of it. Um, but this is a, a striking, unique example um, that has not been kind of highly customized as far as um, the type of wood that was used. This is all black walnut, which is typical for Georgia Mira Nakashima pieces. Um, but it is special in how it's constructed, the uh, faces, as mentioned, not having the doors, and then you can also see that there's figured black walnut used on the face of the drawer, which is, which is a great detail. Uh, if you're looking for a cornblatt cabinet or another Mira or George Nakashima piece, on Mira pieces they have almost always been signed, I think always been signed from what I've seen typically dated as well, and with the family of, or last name of those who commissioned the piece on the underside or the business. For George Nakashima pieces, those are not always signed. His earlier work uh, was, was often unsigned, and occasionally you would find uh, the last name. Only by request, from what I've understood, would George sign the pieces uh, and also include the last name. But, uh, luckily, the Nakashima Studio keeps their documentation uh, very well in order, and so both through authenticating the piece through its detailing and construction and quality, uh, you can often also find out more about the piece through the Nakashima Studio and um, through hopefully some of the detailing that's been retained on the piece. So thanks for watching, and see you next time.